hi guys hope everyone is doing awesome and in today's video uh, I'm going to be completing our DocuSign playlist and this is going to be the third and final part and in this part I am going to show you how we can get the documents back the documents that we sent for signing and how we can get them back through the help of a webhook so stay tuned and uh, this is going to be a very easy uh, video to follow so let's go ahead and start by telling you a few things that I have added ever since so let's head on over to our data tab so inside the data tab you can see I have a new table which is named as signed docs and this table is going to contain just the document and the type is going to be file and this table is going to contain our signed documents another thing that I've added is the inclusion of a plugin called file downloader we are going to download the document that is signed with the help of this uh, plugin it's very easy to find just head go to the add plugins and type in download and you can just install this plugin over here so uh, once you have done both these things uh, one more thing that you can do is in whatever table you have uh, whatever repeating group you have you can just uh, make the type of content to be signed documents and just search for signed documents like I have done and uh, on the download button we can put the workflow of uh, when button download is clicked download file we can uh, give the dynamic link to be current cell signed document docs document and the name uh, should be signed uh, hyphen current cells signed documents file name so this is just for my ease so whenever the file is downloaded it does not contain the same name of the document that we sent uh, instead we are just going to have a signed with it so we can find out easily that okay this is the document that was signed all right so once we have set up our download workflow and also set up our uh, signed documents table what we are going to do is go back to our plugin and to our api connector and we are going to add a new call which is going to be named as get document uh, initially we had get token uh, refresh token and send envelope calls but we are going to add one more call which is going to be named as get document so how this uh, works is pretty simple we are going to set up a webhook in our backend workflows and uh, once the document is uh, completed we are going to send the envelope uh, back to our um, uh, webhook and through our webhook we are going to give uh, the envelope ID and the document ID which we receive uh, from the webhook uh, to this call which is called get document and we are going to get the documents download URL and we are going to save it inside our uh, database so uh, this is the flow so for this call it's pretty simple I have named it get document we are going to use this as an action and the data type is going to be file because we are going to be receiving a signed document file uh, we have uh, a few parameters so uh, the call which we are going to uh, hit uh, the get call it will be in the description but just for the sake of convenience we have account slash account ID we have uh, after that we have a slash and envelopes then we have a forward slash with envelope ID then we have forward slash documents and then forward slash document ID so whenever we are going to get a document we are going to give our account ID the envelope ID the document ID so we can find out the specific document with the specific envelope ID and the document ID which we want to download the another thing we have is in the headers we have key authorization and value bearer so just like sending the documents we are going to have 
the header of authorization over here as well uh, one last thing to add is a parameter and this is going to be certificate and the value of this is going to be false so uh, the only things that we are going to keep private is the account id and the certificate once you have set up the call uh, remember to initialize it and also remember to give in an envelope id and document id of a document that you have sent and uh, also in the header uh, after bearer have your current token from your database and just initialize the call once so we can use this call uh, when we are making the webhook so uh, this is going to be an exciting part of the tutorial where we are going to use the backend workflow so let's go ahead and do that uh, before going uh, doing that uh, remember to go to your settings and api and enable the uh, backend workflows uh, when they will be checked we will have them over here so here i am just going to create a new api workflow and i'm going to name it as get docu get document so remember to check uh, these two and now what we are going to do is we are going to detect a request data and we are just going to click on this button right here we are going to copy this uh, URL and this is going to come in handy uh, in just a second. Let's go on over to our DocuSign uh, dashboard and on our dashboard we are going to go to the settings panel. Once we are in our settings panel, we are going to go to our connect. And here we are going to add a new configuration. Let's click on add configuration and we are going to add a custom configuration. This is going to be an active connection. The name is going to be, let's name it bubble demo and the url to publish now remember the url that we copied from bubble we are going to paste it here once that is done we can scroll down and we can define the trigger events for this call so here we are now we want this webhook to trigger whenever the recipient has signed or completed the document there are other things that can trigger this uh, webhook as well uh, let's say the recipient has declined so what you can do is you can uh, have a separate field of a document in your database which says recipient declined yes or no so you can find out that okay uh, the recipient has declined to sign but for the sake of this video we are just going to check the recipient signed slash completed now let's go to include data now this is going to be very important because we need the documents and there are a few other things that you can check let's check on recipients as well there are a few other things that you can check for example the attachments extensions but this depends upon the use case for our use case we have the documents and recipients let's scroll down and the associated groups is going to be all users and now we can just click on add configuration perfect we have added a configuration but we still need to get the webhook the data so to do that what i'm going to do is i am going to send myself a document and once i have signed the document we will go back to our webhook so the document was sent let's go to our inbox
all right so I have the document right here and let's just review this document very quickly this is the same uh, non-disclosure agreement sample which we have been using for our tutorials so let me just scroll down and quickly sign the document let's just use my initials and let's hit finish once we are done signing the document let's go back to our webhook and we should be getting a trigger for the data pretty soon all right so we have our uh, webhooks data with us and there are a lot of things over here we have the user id we have the account id we have the generated data time date and time we have the envelope id which we are going to use and we also have our document id we have our document id over here we also have the recipient's name the recipient's email the recipient's id so this is uh, pretty good what we are going to do is we are going to save the data and one more step that we have to do with our configuration we added on DocuSign is we are going to remove the keywords of initialize from our webhook and we're going to save the configuration so the initialize only works for the first time once the data is detected we can remove the initialize from the uh, configuration and it will work just fine so now we are going to use the data we are going we are getting from the webhook to create a, a document on our end so let's just do that pretty quickly uh, what we have to do is we are going to use our get document call for the envelope ID we are going to get the request data's envelope ID for the document we are going to get the request data's envelope documents first items document id for the authorization we are going to have our token last items current token let me just add bearer with it as well so this is how we are going to get the document the next thing we are going to do is we are going to save the document that we are going to get from this call so let's create a new thing the type is going to be sign docs and we are going to have the document result of step one so we are going to get result of step one's uh, document in our signed document let's go to our index page and let's make sure that we have set everything up over here so yes we have set everything here so now whenever we are going to uh, sign a document successfully we are going to get our document listed over here so uh, in the next few seconds I'm going to show everything connected from sending the document to getting our signed document all right guys so let's see if we receive the document once it is signed let's send a document the document was sent to be signed I indeed have the document in my inbox 
I can review the document let's scroll down to the signing area let's add the date let me add my signature over here and let me add my initials here and the date here once I'm done I'm just going to click on finish no thanks you'll receive an email copy once everyone has signed so as you can see I have completed the DocuSign testing now whenever it is completed our webhook trigger is going to initialize and we are going to get our document in our sign documents tab so let's see if we got our document let's download this document and here we are let's scroll down and look at our signatures and indeed we added the date in the first field we added the signatures in the second one I added my initials and that means that our workflow is complete and it is working without any problems so hopefully you found this three-part uh, playlist very helpful and you completely understood the flow of setting up the API calls for tokens to sending the documents and then finally getting our signed documents back to us and this is it from my side so this is it from my side and I hope you found this tutorial to be very useful if you have any problem uh, please be sure to comment in the comment section like this video if you really helped you and uh, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this thanks for your time